Alrighty, we have an old UMX Champ. We all know about that one. Uh, he's got some miles, but still goes. That's the one I fly when I drink. Uh, this one I found, uh, UMX Cub, uh, an old favorite. A long time ago, had this when it first came out. That's the E-Flight Grasshopper. Then we have a UMX Corsair, UMX first generation Mustang, uh, UMX, of course, P47, then the F4F Wildcat, then we have a Maxford Curtis Jenny, that one's kind of cool. Uh, then we got the UMX, of course, B17. I had built this, this is a little Gwillows that I put together and put in guts from a UMX Corsair, so it's a full house, and it's got landing gear, but it's stuck over here. Uh, then I have a little Blade Heli, my brother gave me some years ago. Tees the dogs with it once in a blue moon. We got a MiG-15 original. Then we got floats for the UMX Cub over here. Uh, carbon Cub, that is. Uh, we got UMX Mossy, UMX Beast, first generation, no AS3X. Then we have an S-Box, 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 AS3X, um, UMX as well. Then, of course, T-28 Trojan, uh, UMX first generation that's gone through many woods and many creases and issues, but they're all flying, all in good shape at this moment. This is where I build everything. I threw a car together. That thing is like 20 years old, and um, I just put it together. Battery station, batteries. Um, it's what I charge with, and miscellaneous. All right, we'll go... To the garage. There's only a couple in here. It's dark. Uh, this is a A10, Dynam A10 that was given to me all crashed and broken. It was pink and brown. Put that together. Flies pretty well actually. Uh, there is gravesite from an old Bobcat. Yeah. Yeah, and then a variety of other things. The 737 that I had an issue with. And F-16 I had an issue with. Minamoa Hobby King. Um, that still flies. Just put that up actually two days ago. Uh, this is a Dynam Grand Cruiser. Um, Cessna 310. Uh, in a box, new in the box, uh, there's a 737 Windrider already to put together and there's a variety of boxes that I uh, guess I have a fetish with uh, in case I have to move and a lot of them are plain boxes inclusive of down here I think that's it for here. Here we got um, furnace room and more storage and you can see a variety of things uh, here's the Cessna uh, Dynam turbojet which is a Cessna 500 right uh, Vampire limited edition um, EDF bought that some time ago. Uh, there's your SEA5 park zone. In here is an LX Wildcat F4F. Flies good. He's hiding. He's got one wing just hanging for storage. Uh, there's wings to a, um, I'll get to that later, but there's wings for a Hellcat that I built. Sometime Molt Models Hellcat. That's a wooden one I put together. Then you can see a UMX uh, Fly Zone SE5A. There's an old Albatross Fly Zone. Tease the dogs with it around the, gr the uh, golf course. Uh, DR1 Fly Zone. Fly Zone Newport. Hobby King Ryan STA with the girls flying. Here is a Fly Zone Tiger Moth. And there is an original, uh, also UMX P-51 Mustang, flies well. I got that back in New York, flew that at my brother's. This here is a BMJR Astrohog. I put that together, flies very nicely and well. Uh, here is an Alien Aircraft Blinker. It is my flying wing, trike gear. Okay, uh, here is a Cosmic Wind. I painted it. They came in red or white, but I put it together. That's a uh, Great Plains. There are wings to a crashed F-16 I just kind of put together a, uh, there's droops on here, and there's also wings under here for a Phoenix Stinson Reliant that I will show you outside that I have the fuse. This is pretty much my only piece that is not flyable. I have to replace the servos. It was a converted RC um, Gwillows Piper, 
arrow, not arrow, Cherokee. There we go. I extended the wings as well. Uh, here's new in the box, uh, free wing, 70 millimeter F16. I got to put that together. We'll go over here. Decals, a couple die cast thingies, you know, variety of goodies. Uh, there is an SR2 Dynam um, trainer. I just have it apart to store up in here. I had repainted it. I'll show you the wings. And you can see there's a couple boxes left here. There is another mosquito in there, a new in the box mosquito in one of these two. Uh, there's a BMJ and JR Mystery Man. I need to put that together a kit. As a super sniffer, got to put that together as a kit. That one there, um, I built one for my brother's 60th birthday with him in New York. We flew it. He had bought one back in 1975. It was a Midwest um, when he was in the Navy, and I was still like 14. We put that together, put a Cox 49 on it. The thing flew out of sight. It was holy cow. So that's our kind of a special one there. I have a brand new in the box FMS. Uh, Hellcat, which is one of my favorites I have outside. Also an Ultimate 2300 E-Flight, new in the box. A new in the box kit, um, two, one of each Hellcat and T-28 Trojan 800 millimeter. Actually, airfields, these two. Here's my tail to my 787. Uh, that's a Windrider piece. Um, I have a BF-109 fuse, FMS, uh, F-6F fuse, wings, a variety of miscellaneous parts that are all brand new in case I ever had any mishaps. I've been fortunate not having mishaps. Uh, here's some wings to a 1400 millimeter FMS P51 as well. Um, cowls. That's a cowl to a the Phoenix. I have something else up there. I'm trying to recall. <laughs> if I ever need it, I'll have to dig it out. Here's a Pilot One from Hobby. Hobby Lobby, which is now Hobby Express, Pilot One uh, Waco. Um, gorgeous. Here are wings to some of my BMJR. There's a Condor, there is a Panther, Miss America, and also Swami. I'll show you the fuses for them as we come outside. Um, that's to the Dynam SR2. Swami. Put that together. That's a build. Um, BMJR as well. Uh, there's a Great Plains Spod. That series from years ago. Uh, there's a Great Plains SE5A. That same series from Tower Hobbies way back in the day. Uh, up here is a UXAL. UX. Oh, I'll have to go look. I always get them mixed up. But it's a 1600 millimeter. Uh, B-25 bomber, bomb doors, the whole works. It's amazing how slow this thing will fly and come in. It's like a kite, but the thing's actually pretty heavy. Uh, amazing. There is a newly acquired Supreme Hobbies A330. Um, I won't comment on it just yet, but I'll just go through it. There's an old CMP Arrow, one of my first ones. There's a FMS 1400 Corsair, FMS... 1400 Zero, there's an Avios Fury, C Fury 1200 from uh, Hobby King, 1400 P40 also. Um, then up here is Mr. Stinson, one of the first generation um, E Flights. E Flight? Uh, Stinson Reliant, that does well as well. Fuck Wolf, 1400 FMS, uh, BF 109, FMS 1400. Mustang, Hellcat, T28 Trojan, latest edition also, 1500, um, you know, P47, flies well. Here's an upside down, my 787, just for storage. I'm trying to get everything to fit in there. Great Plains DR1 um, from that series. There's a Hobby King Spad, a uh, little foamy, flies cool. Uh, there's a top RC Corsair, uh, 800 millimeter. Then there's the uh, Texan, 800 millimeter. Took a little dialing in, but got that. Those are great little fun little things. Uh, then there's my 800 Hellcat. That thing, you can whip that around and do all kinds of things with. There's a little build my brother sent me. It's an SSX, SST, SSX, a uh, little kit, kind of a aerobatic thing with an asymmetrical wing. Here's a Gwillow's 
P40 I put together, put a little too much camber in it, but you know, I converted it to e electronic, um, you know, RC. Here's a couple of the fuses from my Panther. Built that some time ago. Park Panther, a little smaller, and Miss America. These are all BMJR um, build kits that I put together um, up there on that bench. And you can see miscellaneous stuff for planes in the back, bombs and, you know, canopies and props and all that kind of thing. Well, um, sea wind has been up twice. I'm waiting for more snow. Um, Great Plains. And here's a Hawker Hurricane from Dynam. Doesn't like the cold uh, retracts, but it really flies well. Fly Zone, uh, Cessna 182. That's my second one. That was my, my first one I had when I first trained myself um, some time ago. Uh, put it through its ringers. It was so good. It flies better than the 1400 millimeter that I had that I sold, so I kept this one. Fly Beam, I still enjoy. Put extra lights on it with a switch. Uh, some people didn't like it. The Hobby King 1300 um, Texan also flies great. This is my first low wing plane I ever had. Uh, got real nervous. I did crash it because I got it too far away from me. I just put a new fuse in it and I still have extra parts and stuff, which I didn't show you in the room. Um, still goes. Fly Zone, Fock Wolf. This thing is amazing. It has to be somewhat calm, but the way this thing lands and takes off, it's like, you got to be kidding me. It's an underrated vehicle. Vehicle? Aircraft. Uh, A380, of course, uh, Hobby King. I just kind of redid it somehow. As you can see, we have here Big Albatross. Um, this one was the 15E series from uh, Horizon Hobby. Uh, it's heavy, but the thing floats. It's under cambered wing, does all kinds of goodies. Um, great piece to fly. There's an 800 Trojan. Uh, there's a Top RC 800 uh, T34. There's a E Flight 480 Sea Fury. Um, Cessna, the Horizon Hobbies. Um, it's not E Flight. Hobby. I can't remember. <laughs> But I know a lot of folks have that. It's a great little flying around the, around the house. There's another Great Plains um, Newport. That's from that series. The only one I don't have is the Sop with Camel. I would like to find that. There's a 980 high speed uh, Tony. That is the Kawasaki KI 6i. K K K I forgot K I 6i something like that. Uh, here's that Condor. It's a big sailplane with a big long wheel a wheelbase. Listen to me, wingspan. Uh, that thing flies really well. It's a simple three channel, but it does pretty impressive. There's an old snorting bull. Um, my first uh, foamy uh, low wing. Um, never crashed. It's, it, it turned me on to P47s. I still fly it to this day. This was given to me, although I had to put it together, you know. That's a Dauntless. That's um, Phoenix Models. Uh, there's my A320 Supreme Hobbies, painted it American, American style, does well. Had a couple issues, a little vibration in that one fan, I don't feel like taking it apart, so I put a rubber band around, it really helps quiet it down and do good. Uh, FMS Stuka, there's a Duke, this was originally Banana Hobbies, and there was another company, I forgot what it was called, that had it. Uh, unfortunately, it's been discontinued, but it's a it's a fun piece. It's a twin. I put it in a couple times, but it was too good to and repairable, so I had to go along with it. Uh, there's the Phoenix Stinson Reliant. Showed you the wings before. Does really well. Then we have a Hobby King General Hobbies who are Sonic really. Um, our B17 four motored, nice floaty. Love seeing that thing way up in the air. Does. Does an easy job. It's like a trainer. Then we have this last here. We have a Maxford Spirit. It's kind of a 3D piece my brother gave me. I put it up once in a while. Um, it could use a little more power, I think, to really go crazy, but it'll do it all. Another 15E um, Champ uh, from E Flight. That's what it was E Flight, the Albatross over there. Um, then we have another FMS 1100 Hellcat. Had this for quite some time. I did a repaint on it. Never crashed it though. Had some gear issues. It never came with retracks, but I put them on. My very first plane, the Habaco Next Star Mini. I've crashed this many, many times, but repaired it many times. And 
um, it just continues to go and I'll fly it, I'll put the camera on it, it's nice easy floater. I even left the speed brakes on it, I couldn't help it. Brother gave me this, this is a Maxford uh, Albatross, also one of my favorite World War I planes of course. You might be able to tell from the past, I kind of modded the paint a little bit and made it kind of look like fabric. Um, flew him in New York, shipped him back out. Fokker D7, there's uh, another one of the great planes series that I have, flies very well. I got carried away with it and put it into a fence, that was all pilot error. I needed the uh, repair the the front grill, but I made it happen. This is my last build. It's also a BMGR Fiasco. It's kind of a sport kind of plane. Um, it's it's incredible. What what to say? Laser Arts P51 Mustang. It's got retracts, lights, the whole the whole house. Um, the only thing is you kind of need calm weather to fly this. It's very light, but it very handleable and controllable, and it's amazing how well it will just you know do what you tell it. And this one I got, it was inspired, it's also E-Flight Cub 450, uh, bigger than the Grasshopper uh, that was upstairs. It's just the Grasshopper did so well, just, you know, hey, you got to go with it. I had to do it. And then this one here I got from General Hobbies on eBay before I even knew about General Hobbies for like $200. Now the thing is, well, discontinued and the price went up, the uh, Mosquito. Um, it's a twin, uh, retracts the full flaps. I got some videos. Uh, of it mounted on board. Um, oh, look, another albatross. That's right. Did I go by this one? There's a park zone. My one used ve vehicle. I keep saying vehicle. My one used one that I bought that was here locally, and the guy didn't want too much for it, so I looked at it and was like, yeah, I'll take it. And I just did a repaint on it. Um, there's a sniffer up there. That's a BMJR. That's one of the small sniffers, not the big sniffer, because there's a super sniffer and then this one. Um, He's fun to go and just put up and glide around. He's not a glider, but he's the super sniffer. The sniffer, he sniffs the thermals is what that's all about. Um, I went past this row too. Look, here is an airfield uh, P-51 Mustang. It's been duplicated. I know everybody makes this size. It's a 1200. It does well. It needs a little extra power, but it flies all right. There is a free wing Levachkin. Um, it was tricky. It's a handful, but I got it dialed in finally. Um, price on it just went up like $60. It was amazing. I'm glad I got what I did when I did. Um, and then, of course, this guy I was really impressed with, and I still am, um, the Intruder FMS 80mm uh, uh, six-cell version, of course. Um, so, do I have a favorite? Who? Hmm. Which ones would I get rid of? Huh? Oh, yeah, and I was going to tell you about the Molt Models Hellcat. There's the Molt Models Hellcat. I had built that. That's a nice, it's just, you know, it's a calm weather piece, but boy, when you do have it and it's easy, it does exactly what you tell it to. It's light, it's airy, it's aerobatic. Um, heck, what more to go with? I think I got everything. Um, well, I'm up here. I had to edit a little bit. There's just some miscellaneous stuff I have up in this cabinet um, down here. Just, they're not expensive high ends, but that's all I need. One of these are my very first radios. It was a Futaba 7C, and it only had 10 model memory. I got a second one. Then I went to DX9. Actually, no, not then. I went to DX8. Spectrum's been good to me. You know, I just don't like the DSM-2. Um, then I have a DX9 over there. There's some miscellaneous paints and just stuff. What am I missing? Anybody? Anything? So that's kind of uh, the program down here. Um, yeah, I got extra goodies up there. Oh, I have a kit of Messer Schmidt Willows. One of these days I'm going to RC it. Um, I also have back there um, more Champ, the big 15E Champ parts, and there's another kit back there, I know that, what was it? Oh, it's another Avenger, Willow's Avenger, kind of like this one. That one I didn't RC, that one was like my first build that I thought if I would get back into it, just a little piece. It's got dope in the whole thing. Uh, extra retracts for Mr. F4F in case I need it. 
receipts, bills, extra old radios, just stuff I really don't need, but it's there. And retracts missiles, fan. Uh, I think that's it. Props, spinners, um, retracts, you know, just kind of like the military has extra parts for their planes, I kind of have a little bit of a stash. Not a huge one, but, you know, the important stuff anyway. All right, I might have to fast forward this a little bit, and I might cut this, but um, that's it. Thanks.